Hey guys, welcome to the Lee Snow. I've got my buddy Chandler with me. How are you doing, Chandler? Safe, I'm good, bro. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. And today we're doing something a bit different. We're doing uh, a ranking of all the fire starters, including uh, for Coco. Is it for Coco, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, including for Coco, the new star coming in the new game, Scarlet and Violet. Uh, he's a new fire type starter, so we're going to rank all the fire type starters in order. Uh, no further ado, bro. Where are you starting off at number nine? Who are you thinking of looking at those fire starters? The stars? worst ones. Like the worst ones that stand out to me is definitely School Bunny. I'm not gonna hold you on that. Bro, I, no. I've always say School Bunny looks like he's like from a horror movie, bro, like a teddy that's been like possessed and come to life. Like School Bunny just scares me. <laughs> I can see it. It's just but, his little beady eyes and his little skinny body, bro. He looks like something out of like. But um, I've watched Pokemon Journeys and he's cool in that. Mm, yeah. He is one of my favourite characters in Pokemon Journeys. See, I haven't actually watched Pokemon Journeys, but. When I do think about it, the fact that like Piplup's so sick in the anime, that does make me like Piplup more. Mm -hmm. So See, maybe my worst fire without that uh, saying it, Fennekin. Oh, you're going Fennekin? Uh, I don't actually dislike Fennekin, but like I do think it's pretty down there. I think just design. Don't get me wrong. I get Pokemon's not always mad, but it's just a fox with fluffy ears. It is just a fox with fluffy ears. And it's yellow dominates its design, which like burns all the fire. The rest like, is red, red looks or better. orange, mm. stuff like that. And I know it's only stars, but the Fennekin line is just not there either. <laughs> and also, like usually, star Pokemon have really big heads, but Fennekin doesn't have that big head. It has the big no, ears. No, no, no. Yeah, that's how they design them. They do it on purpose. They do them with like big heads and like little bodies and like little limbs and stuff. And like, I don't know, like Fennekin, like just because of the way it's been designed, like, that makes it feel less like a starter Pokemon, like to me. I get what you makes mean. Makes it more feel like a Route One, Sta like, yeah, rat. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, or like an Eevee type Pokemon yeah. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm 100% uh, on to put like Scorbunny and Fennekin at the bottom too. Uh, do you have a particular order? I'd rather put Scorbunny at the bottom, but like, if you want to put Fennekin at the bottom, I'm not I'll let you have that one. I'll let yeah. you have Scorbunny at the bottom. Yeah. But I'm, I'm standing to it that Scorbunny is a good Pokemon. I used it myself in Pokemon Sword. I don't actually. Shield. So did I actually. I chose it just because like, I love football, so like, you know, I wanted, yeah, I I think, wanted to soccer I think player. As a Pokemon, he's alright. He is. I like him. I love his, I like I love his concept, and I, like, I love the name. I just can't get over how, like, in my mind, how poorly executed his design was. Like, maybe the smile just, is, like, now that you've pointed this horror thing out, it's just smiles. It's a bit just crazy. the face. I even quite like the way it moves. Like, do you know what I mean? Because, like, in terms of. I like that he's more kick beast as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a lot of his attacks are all kick beast and stuff like that. But still, they're both actually, they, you know, they're, they're still good Pokemon. Oh, like, so well, I, I mean, can't say anything for Fennekin. You're not a fan, you're not I'm not a fan of Fennekin. Alright, that's fair, that's fair. Uh, so, who do we got left? Who are you coming after next? Personally, I'm going to say Tepig. Oh, mate, you read my mind. Let's put them straight there. Tepig, I, them, them three. I could, and if I was going to order it in my personal three of them, uh, it'd be Fennekin at the bottom uh, with Tepig, then Score Bunny. Mm, see, uh, I would rather have Score Bunny at the bottom, then Fennekin, then Tepig. Because I actually really like Unova. Like, see, I, do really agree, I agree with you there. As a region, Unova is great. And I did use it. And I just like that it's like a little sumo uh, pig and he's got a little mask on. Yeah. But I don't know, I, I, I like when they like. Oh, I do them. like him. I, yeah. I used him in Univore, mm -hmm. definitely my first pick. I just like it when they do like a. Um, like they, they should be so specific about their dialogue, like the like pseudo mask. Like, I think other than that, his design actually is not great. The design's yeah. not the best. He could use a little bit more personality, but that being said, he has more personality than Delicate. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. And just. Colour wise, it's alright. Well, the thing is, like, all the other ones ahead of him are so good as well, so, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, he's, he's got competition, mm -hmm. let's be honest. Alright, so we're on Score Bunny, uh, Fennekin, then to Pig. That's the order at the moment. So far. So far. Uh, looking at what's left, I'll be real with you, I'm coming after rather Torchic. Torchic's probably my next one. I don't like the beady eyes, bro. It feels like it just doesn't have the personality, which I like in the start of it. Based on design, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Based on design, birds. If I was going to choose my fourth, it'd probably be maybe Litten or Cyndaquil. I was hoping you wouldn't say Cyndaquil. I do. Oh, but talk only, about Litten. But the thing with the Cyndaquil that's saving it for me is I do have just a, design wise, it's not the best. Well, no, design wise, it's alright, yeah. But never really used him personally in the anime. I love him though. 
that's yeah. what's saving him for me. In the anime, I always love how they portray it. Okay, well, let's put Cyndaquil back for now, if you don't mind. Because I'd rather have him higher. Put pin in we'll that one. Put because after Torchic, my next one was probably going to be Litten. So, like, yeah. at this point, I reckon we decided that. Mine's Torchic, yours Litten. But, like, we got... Like, why do you like Litten? Why do you like Litten? I like Litten. He, he's great. I used him in Shield myself. Mm -hmm. The design is good. And yeah. in the anime, again, if we're going to reference to them points, the character in the show was quite cool, actually. It was very... Mm -hmm. I think he had this story of saving was, was an old like herdier or something and then the herdier died at the end of the episode and it was quite quite upsetting to be honest for a pokemon show oh i know i haven't seen that one to be fair. i'm not as much as watching the anime like do you know what i mean i put a lot more time to like watching like card youtube or something like, yeah. some of these pokemon especially the later generations that like, i haven't really seen in the anime no oh, if you get into the anime you'll start like it there's does a lot change of personality in some it of does and i've noticed that because i've watched watch, like a lot of the anime before that all probably all the way up to like diamond and pearl i've probably seen like most of the anime but like and then there are certain Pokemon that would do make me feel that way but I feel like that experience of Litten like in my mind does put them lower for me just kind of like do you know when like you like things more and you're familiar with them yeah 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 oh yeah I can agree with that Torchic it, so my favourite gens are Gen 4 number 1 mm -hmm. Gen, fr Gen 3 number 2 Gen 3 number 2 Gen 3 is my second favourite so from that Tor and Torchic was the one I chose yeah. when I first played it you'll notice a lot of the first Pokemon I chose were Fires uh -huh. I yeah. think the only one I did it was Fennekin yeah it's funny because yeah, most of my ones are Fire like there's actually very few of these starters which I would say I would pick like out of there oh no there was another one as well I didn't choose Cyndaquil you didn't choose Cyndaquil I chose Togodile I, I chose Cyndaquil <laughs> I, I like Togodile yeah but okay it's so the Fires it's the Fires today yeah, it is, it is. We'll talk about that on another video. <laughs> and you know what? We will stop, to be fair, just for a second. Uh, so, we want to do more videos like this, but we're not going to be able to do it if you're not liking the video. So, like, channel, how many likes do you want? As many. As many. Dollar them out. All right, lay them all you out. You heard him. Dollar them out. I'm setting the target at 15, all right? I want 15 likes on this like video and with channel. And if we hit that target, I'll speed rush the next video to make it happen. But now, back to it, we've got to decide. Torchic or Litten? I'll, I'll, I'll put Litten. You'd uh, put Litten? And lower than Torchic. But like, I I don't like Torchic that much. Like, compared to what's left, like. So compared like, to what's um, left, oh, yeah, there's. I think Torchic's defo in the conversation for the next one, but I'm willing to concede Litten. But like, I think it's still in the conversation, Torchic. Yeah, we can keep Torchic in because Torchic is, in terms of the gangster OG. He is a bit of a gangster, to be fair. Yeah, he, he's, especially, again, evolution lines, try not to bring that up, but Blaziken. You get a, Bla oh, you get yeah. a Blaziken out of a Torchic. Like, Blaziken's always been my least favourite out of the three. But you know what, that's another time, that's, that's another, another time, video. That's, that's another, another video, guys. Let's not get into another that. Video. But, uh, that's fine, so we've got Litten next, so let me just recap. So Scorbunny, Fennekin, uh, Tepig. Tepig, and then we're on Litten. Litten. Oh, but you know what, mate? We haven't even talked about Fukuoka, the new starter Pokemon. Yeah. What are your opinions on this boy? I Fukuoka. quite like him. Yeah. Because I like crocodiles mm -hmm. and alligators in real life, and that's what he meant to be. And I think a fire one is pretty damn cool. Yeah, like, I think the obvious choice would be water, but then like this would be like a really cool yeah. comparison back to yeah, the Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, who's, yeah. who's your favourite croc? <laughs> and I can't wait to see his final evolution. If it's been revealed yet, I don't know because I haven't been. No, 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 they're literally just still on the babies. Uh, They've released quite a few new Pokemon, and then just like evolution for Giraffe or Aqua. I've seen, yeah, I've seen like the odd they, bits. They've released a few bits. Seen the odd, saying this though, there was a Pokemon in. I was watching one of your videos the other day, and there was a Pokemon you pulled on a card. And it was a pink love heart thingy and, and a moon oh like Landorus uh, Tornadus and all Amor that Amorus. I think. yeah I've forgotten that the name now but yeah it's like yeah, yeah I looked at that and I was like what <laughs> where is that one yeah, that's from so Legends of that's from I have played that one yeah, oh, yeah I've yeah, got yeah. it I've got it I haven't played it yet yeah. oh my god yeah but anyways for Coco do you know what his name is like, how his name works Whoa, it's yeah, like fire, fire and it's like fire in Spanish. I do, I do quite like it. Mm. And I, do I like, quite like. I do like the idea of a Spanish region. Like, I feel like we're gonna get like a lot of cool. No, I've just realised we haven't really spoke about the name though. Now, no, because Scorbunny, going back to Scorbunny, if you want to. To be fair, I did actually mention Scorbunny's one. I do like with the, the football and all that type yeah. of stuff. The rest of them are like friends. 
they actually are. The other ones, like, I don't think it's as much. No, I just lift out, like, lift and I like the fact there's more kids and they can. Yeah, yeah, I do yeah. like that. And I actually. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. Uh, but for Coco, I like, you know, it's supposed to look like a pepper. Like it's designed, it's supposed to be designed so, I can it, looks see like, it. so it looks like a pepper. I can see but, um, it. Is he coming in like, are you starting to think about him now based on this list? Well, I, I think, to be honest, I think whenever I've thought about a violent scholar, I think I've always thought I was going to choose for a Coco anyway. Like, I see, I, I thought you would be that way. So I feel like, you know what, I could rank Fue, Fue Coco comfortably around the middle now. I feel like also we like, haven't got to know him mm -hmm. too much yet. I, it, it, Makes you feel curious, like you want to see what this thing is going to evolve into. Like you're going to, like you just want to know about this thing. Like you just want one. Do like, you know exactly, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. So I feel like I definitely. I want to know what moves. I want to know what moves it's coming what with. What types going to evolve into? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to take. Oh, we'll take a bet on that. Uh, yeah, 100% I'm on that. Yeah, could it be? The can't be fighting again. No, it won't be. It won't be. But, 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 are you thinking about him now? Yeah, that is the question. I'm thinking about it. Because who's left? We've got Coco, Chimchar, Torchic, Cyndaquil, and Charmander. So basically, I reckon we talk about taking out two, so we can get our top three. Do you know what I mean? So which two of these do you think don't deserve to be in the top three? Torchic. Wait. Yeah. I don't think Torchic deserves to be in the top three, and I don't think Fukoko deserves to be in the top three. Yeah. I yeah. agree with that. Uh, okay, so that's our top three pretty easily settled. I can't agree with that. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. agree with that. I think that. that's just fair. But uh, I reckon the, the, for me... These three Pokemon that are about to come in, even though I'll admit, like, on Cyndaquil, not my preferred out of all of that generation and whatever, all the fires. But I know that he's got a lot of fans. There's a lot of Cyndaquil fans yeah, out there yeah. that love and cherish the Cyndaquil line. Yeah. And yeah, I can see why. And he had um, I think his Hisui region form. Do you know what? It just adds, now that I think about it, because I forgot about that, adds to the Pokemon. Yeah, hold the, hold the fort to be fair. Uh, I got a funny story about that, but I reckon it's uh, for Coco. Okay, for Coco, I think we fourth, should torch it fifth for me. I can agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Design wise, and because mm -hmm. we haven't got to know as a Pokemon. I think Torchic's just a chicken. Yeah. Design wise, he's just a chicken. It's just a, chicken. a cool looking chicken. Yeah, but like, but, do you know what I mean? Like uh, Torchic, I kind of like the name. Torchic's cool. And yeah. I, I, in battles, he's all right. He's not bad. Pet. Like, he, he's pet quite useful. Yeah. Yeah, you can be quite advantage mm -hmm. compared to the ones lower than him on the list. Yeah. They're not. Re Litten's a great Pokemon for battling, in my opinion. But yeah. The rest aren't amazing. So who's your third place? Who do you think's third? Because mine, I know, and I don't think you're gonna like it. <laughs> I already know. You know, it you, already know, know what it is. you already know what it is. I, I'll agree to meet you in the middle. We're gonna have to meet in the middle somewhere. Yeah, we're gonna have to meet in the middle, because I have a feeling, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna say it right now. I know you already know what it is, yeah. just so everyone knows what I'm talking about. Chimchar is my third. I know he loves Chimchar. Chimchar is, me, I will be honest, I will my I think uh, Chimchar's third. Complete biasness and opinion here. Uh, Chimchar is my favorite fire star, probably potentially my favorite fire star. See, I knew on. that, but like, let me tell you something. I say Chimchar, I mean the Infernape Barley comes from the game. Cyndaquil is used to be, maybe not so much anymore, but it used to be the same thing for me. I used to love Cyndaquil and it used to literally be like one of my favourite lines, like easily. Easily like, I used to say for Cyndaquil was my favourite Pokemon for like, for like a four year period. I did choose I mean. I, so I did start Pokemon Legends Arceus. Never really played it. And I didn't choose after. it after saying that. I did. You did. I, I did choose Cyndaquil because I was like all like I had the option I'd already used a Rowlet in one of my playthroughs. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember what the other one was. It, Oshawa. The, yeah, I'm not bothering with Oshawa. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Oshawa ain't there for me. I like Another Oshawa. video. Yeah, next video. 15 likes, guys. 15, 20. Um, oh, no, you <laughs> said it. Yeah, I gotta get 20 now. Um, yeah, but I can see that. You know what? You're opening my mind to something with a little bit, I guess. And like, and I didn't I've choose to never it, really it, bought it, bought it, bought it, Because I'd already used it so much and I never used Ground. So I went for a route this time. But like, Syndical for me is definitely my best fire starter. Honestly, I can compromise on Charmander. The only reason he's top three is because he has to be. But you know what? If it wasn't for his older dad, his <laughs> yeah, big he, buddy Charles, like, his he's, older dad. Like, is he actually better than Syndical? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I, Personally, I could put Charmander third. See, I, I'm happy he's made it to the top three. Because the I, only reason, like you said, he, again, 
this is a very controversial opinion, but it's just because of Charizard. And Charmander, while he is an OG of Pokemon, one of the original, you know, I, the story in the anime with Charmander was amazing. Yeah, it with was. It was. And, like, you and know, Pokemon got deep. TCG point, uh, Charmander's artwork on a lot of Pokemon cards is that picture of him on the log. Yeah. Where his fire's going out, there's a lot of uh, artwork on that. Yeah, yeah. So, and it's quite simple. So I feel like. But if it was to my personal opinion, I could put I could put Charmander second. Uh, with Cyndaquil being third. The way I look at it is, first, but the way I look at it is, I'm very passionate about Cyndaquil. Yeah, you're I'm very, very passionate, passionate about Chimchar. There is very much Charmander nostalgia might, and bias coming Charmander from Charmander might have to take the L on this one. Might just for that. But like the thing is, guys, like, obviously like Charmander is one of like the most famous Pokemon. Like, and we know that, but like, this is quite, it is a biased list. Like. I would also say though, this is a very, again, maybe controversial opinion, but I do believe it, Charizard, Charmander, Charmeleon, while Charmeleon doesn't get the love, Charmander and Charizard can be a bit overrated sometimes. They can be, but you know what it is? It's just because like, they're just iconic. Like, they're yeah. just iconic. Like, that, that's what it you is think for them Pokemon, as well. You think Charizard, so like, yeah, probably to a certain extent. Out of the first three, out of the first three Kano starters, the first one you will think of, in my opinion, is Charmander. Nah, I'm a Squirtle boy. But if you were to ask a general person, oh, a general person, isn't into Pokemon, you would go behind Pikachu. Behind Pikachu was the first one. They well, they'd say Charizard or Obviously, you know, but yeah. Eevee maybe. But like we say, we're not basing off his diets, and like we still got third, and like you know, he is still a great design. Honourable mention for him. Honourable well. mention. Honourable like, mention. He's an OG, like he's got a sick design, but just probably not as good as the other two in our opinions. In my opinion. In our opinions, yeah. But now, at the end it of the is day. Gonna be. And do you know what mate? I don't think either of us are gonna budge on this. I so don't. what I wanna say is just we'll have separate ones. Yeah. Yeah. So all our list up to the first the worst eight are the same. But like I can't yeah, I get, get past I can't well, do it. And I don't think you're going to get past what, Chimchar. What are like, so personal reasons why you love Cyndaquil? Bar design and just all that like... Well, Cyndaquil like, was the first one which I chose. First Johto run through. And like, I actually had like a broken uh, Game Boy game. So oh, like, yeah. it wouldn't save, so I had to restart every time. And it didn't matter. Every time, I just chose Cyndaquil. Like, I just loved him. I had the Typhlosion card, which I know like, we shouldn't be based on it, but it did enhance my relationship with the Pokemon. Like, yeah. Why? See, obviously, this is one thing we have to say on is we've tried to avoid it, but the evolution lines will always in a sense. And I, and I just think in general, like it's one of the, it's so simple. And yeah. obviously, 3D modeling like did it dirty when like type of with the whole line, but they're not even lit up. Right back yeah. in those like that 2D sprite of Cinderwheel. Hopefully, I can find a picture of it. It's like popping up for you right now. Right, and I just thought it's just so appealing. Like, I don't know, like just everything, and I loved Ash's Cyndaquil. Yeah. And then like, the fact that it evolved to Qualava, I actually probably like Cyndaquil and Qualava more than I like. I like, I like the whole, I like the Cyndaquil line as a whole. I think the only thing that doesn't do it for me with Cyndaquil is, I, I like the more loud out there. Mm, kind I'm of, more of the docile. That and also when I got into Pokemon, I was still very young. I think so. My first gem was Gem One, and yeah. I was playing it on Game Boy Advance, Fire Red, and all that. And then when I eventually got around to playing Gold on the Game Boy Color, uh -huh. um, I like Crocodile. I like Toadile because he was like loud and all that. And same with Chimchar, same with Score Bunny. Uh -huh. They've all been louder, rowdy Pokemon. Cyndaquil's quite shy, timid, always. Personality wise, as well, he's always seen as a timid Pokemon. Yeah, and the thing is, that's quite uh, the opposite for what most fire starters are. Yeah. And uh, I don't usually tend to pick fire. So I think the thing about Cyndaquil is what would like you say your favourite starter type is? I'm pretty split between water and grass to be honest with you. Yeah. I would say out of all nine, realistically, I pick four water, four grass and one fire. Oh, like, yeah, realistically, yeah. I don't know, I, I don't, I'd have to put that, I don't know off the top of my head which one. Yeah. Like, it would be a big debate. Yeah. But, like, I've always, I feel like early generations are more like to the water end. To be fair, no, it's always been split. I'm always going back and I've forth. Al I've always been fire. Part of that's just because when I was a kid, you know, bright, bird, no, I get that. bright, bird, get things. That. It always, then, as always, I got older, it kind of stopped. It did always tempt me. Uh, yeah, it, it is the fires tempt. are always a reliable Pokemon. Mm -hmm. But getting back to the topic at hand, Chimchar is in the quill. Chimchar, in my head. So my favorite generation is Gen Four. My favorite game being Platinum. I played through Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. I played through all three of them with a chip shot. And 
genuinely never enjoyed using a Pokemon so much. Yeah, and I get that, I get that. Like the amount of times and he can come in so clutch in battles. Uh, and I'm not even talking about like Monferno and Inferno. Like, this is fighting the rock gym at the beginning. And going in with a gym jar and I've came out somehow still alive. And I'm like, that would be a live Pokemon right there. Yeah, Jim Jar's a gym, is key. And I, do you know what he was in my top three as well, because do you know what I really look at I think like Maybe it's because I think he outshines some of the Sinnoh uh, partners, but like he's just, he's got so much about him, he's got so much if personality. If you were going to bring the other Sinnoh stars into it. But like he looks cute and friendly but tough and fierce, yeah. like, do you know what I mean? He's His just... design of the three Sinnoh stars are the best. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah, so you, he's My got that too. win on him. He does have it. Okay, here's a and question. As a designer, as a monkey as a whole, like he's meant to look like a monkey, but he looks cool. Mm -hmm. He looks distinct. He looks unique. Yeah, he does. Do you know what I mean? So, congratulations. We finished the where well, we finished the tier list. But like, as a side point, how many of these starters did you actually pick? Like first time round, how many of these fire? How many? All of them. So, first time I played through fire red. I've only ever played through fire red ones. Uh -huh. That was um, Charmander. You went Charmander. Then when I played the original... Um, Totodile. Yeah, I chose Totodile. Uh -huh. And then when I eventually played Soul Silver, I did also choose a Totodile then, because uh -huh. they'd been so long. Uh -huh. um, I think, so Gen 3. I actually chose a Mudkip, I think, on my first time. But I think I ended up restarting it and getting a Torchic. Oh, really? Yeah, I think... No I love for the Trico. I, no, I like Trico. Another video. Um, but, yeah, I definitely... I started with the mudkip, but I went back and got a torch it. Because you like that fire. Yeah, because I just wanted, I was like, no, I need a blaze again. So, like, you chose torch it, you chose Charmander, did you choose Scorbunny? I know these aren't. Uh, let's go down, actually. Did you, you chose Chimchar. I definitely chose. You're going to choose I've, the Although, paper. I have also played through Platinum with Tor with Turtwig and Pimlop. Yeah, it's the same. I've done all three. I've done all three stars. So, you're going to choose for Coco? I'm going to. Did yeah. you choose Scorbunny? Yeah, on my first. No, no, I chose Grookey actually. Grookey, yes, yeah. I like Score Bunny, but I had, I got one. I did end up getting one for yeah. that one to trade them. Mm -hmm. I think I've got three. Okay. Litten, you chose. Yeah. Fennekin, you chose. No, no, I think I chose the Grass type actually, Chestnut. Or... You chose Chestnut. Yeah, yeah, I chose uh, Chestpin. That's the Chestpin. I think I chose Chestpin. To pig. Yeah, I chose that. Pig. Chose to pig. The only two here. Which I started, which I chose first time round. Uh, to be fair, have you been listening? Which two is that? You reckon you know? Cinderquill. Yeah, who do you reckon the other ones? This is the part where I struggle on that. Because I know you've said it, it was Scorpion, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was yeah, Scorpion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't show a pick. I was like, I know that. I was talking about it, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't actually really like Scorpion. I just couldn't, I couldn't give up the opportunity to use a footballer. Play it, I, see what what got me into Grookey, like you got in squad body through football, it was the music side for Grookey. I, I love that he was a little drummy monkey. Hold on, hold on. We're getting too much onto yeah, other yeah. videos. Do you know what guys? Thank you so much for watching. Chandler, thank you for coming on. I really thank hope you, you enjoyed that. Me, Remember, click that like button if you want more content like this. And we'll get filming the other three stars. When the middle stages come out, we'll get those done. But we need to like the video. Come on guys. Thanks for watching. Big snore coming back soon.